Yep. Nice fish, Scott. Hey, Back let's land this area. one, dude, okay? I'm just sending you good vibes. It is, it's big. Oh my god, oh, Scott, that's a big fish. Let's take it. Ooh! What's it on? What's it, what'd you hook it on? Topsy Turvy, where is Chris Ooh, at? Where is oh, he? wait, 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 wait. Metal wait. action? Went back downstream. Oh my god, look at the head on that thing. Oh, 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 oh. oh. that is a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a big fish. I was worried about the goat. Is that what we're here for? Yeah. Hell yeah. Is that what we're right here for there. right there, huh? That a boy. Yeah. Nice work, my man. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> Scott. That's a slap. That's dude. a big fish. Hey. That's summer chinook right there, Marlon. That's what we're here for. Hey, you know what? Big All you, buddy. You put us on it. Thanks, man. That they do. Bow rods are on fire, Sean's on a fish. Woo! Oh my god, let it run. This feels like a big fish. <laughs> Sean, yeah. what do you think? Is it small? It's a giant. It's a 45. 45 and going away from the boat. Yeah. Oh, there he goes again. Yeah. I think this is a good fish. I think it's yeah. another good fish. Saw color down there. there we go, a nice one, buddy. Nice right. Reel all the way to that lead if you can. Nice and fish for you guys. Hey, Sean, nice and easy. Beauty, Reel buddy. down to that lead. Let him go if he wants to go, Sean. Okay, lift nice and easy. Away from the boat, Sean. There you there go, go bud. Nice. Good job. Bring it back around. Right fish. There we go. Oh, in the net. Oh, baby. Woo! How we looking fin-wise, buddy? Keep looking it. excellent. Another looking beautiful excellent. summer Chinook up here. Oh, no. He gone. He gone. He's done. The later in the day it gets, the bigger they get. It's crazy. Nice fish. Get nice and easy. All the way to that lead. Reel down. Oh, sorry. His lip hooked. My bad. He just came off. Yeah, right there. <laughs> that was my bad. The drag was too loose. I lost pressure. These fish do take a lot of really crazy. They run the water's hard. really clean up here, and I think these fish do a lot of fast, quick moves. Yeah. No, they run hard for sure. All right, redeploy. All you can do, go get another one. You gotta love that one, man. Go right? to one, Angie. That movie made. I mean, just upside down, shaking his head. 180, back the other way. Did he not see that net or what? Nice. Another nice fish. Oh. <laughs> nice shiny fish there, huh, boys? Oh, yeah. Okay, who wants it? It's not me. No, oh, it's her. Yeah. Oh, her. Nice and easy. <laughs> Afternoon crew is doing great today. A little tired this morning, 4th of July last night, but they're waking up and uh, it's been an awesome afternoon. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who's got it? Let it go. Get it, Mark. He's running. In it? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Look at him go! It looks nice, yeah. Oh! Digging. He's out. He left again. Yeah. 
Dead fish. Dead fish. Hey. Yeah, boy. Nice work. There he is. Let's give him the old. Let's give him the old aluminum shampoo here. Good night. Power rods are putting in the work today, Look at that, boys. Dude. Yeah. Marlon said we we're gonna fish till one o'clock. It's yeah, one o'clock on the dot. One o'clock on the dot. Right. There he is. And we're out of room in the box. We're gonna call that good. We got nine in the box. We released a lot today. We're out of room in the let's ice give, chest. Let's give the addicts a look at this thing. Oh, Beautiful dude. fish. Hit me up if you want some smoked fish. Here you guys can see a little bit darker fish. Has a little bit of that brownish tan color on the outside, but uh, I'm guessing this one's gonna cut really nice. Proof's in the pudding right there, folks. All right, everyone, here we are a couple days later back at my house. I'm gonna show you guys how to smoke this fish. It's a really, really easy process. I'm gonna walk you through it all and show you how delicious you can make these summer Chinook or any species that you catch, really. This is a simple process. It's one I've been using for a long time. It works really good and it's really, really tasty. So let's go do it. All right, everyone. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get the fish and start just kind of preparing it. I like to do my pre-cuts and get the fish all, ooh, looky there. Tasty. I like to get all my fish cut up, um, make sure that it's ready to actually be smoked. So I'm gonna grab this out of there. Ooh, we got a couple leaky bags. That ain't good. Leaky bags in the fridge. I got a little table set up out here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the fish out of the bag. Lay her out here on the old fillet away. All right, so got the two fillets out of there now. Got one of the new Gerber fillet knives here. I haven't really had a chance to test these much, but this is the Sengao, I think they call it or something. Actually helped, they, a sushi chef helped design this thing. So kind of a sweet little knife. So what we're gonna do here is we got some bones in here. I'm gonna actually cut those out of the fish. Sorry if you guys aren't seeing this, I'm terrible with the chest cam, but I'm gonna just cut this off here. All right, addicts, so now that I got the bones cut off there, what I immediately started to do next was start to stake these things up. So I'm just gonna start cutting these fillets into steaks, smokable, eatable size pieces. This will allow me to kind of get them on the smoke, smoker nicely as well. So there you have it. Big old pile of steaks. There's the first couple fillets ready to go here. Eight more to do, or six more to do. Actually, I don't know. Let's go see. All right, got a couple Ziplocs here, so we're just gonna clear this fish, get rid of it into this Ziploc here. It will be ready to get some brown sugar in it. All right, everyone. We got four fat bags of salmon, all cut up, all prepped, all ready for the smoker. All right, everyone, we're in my kitchen in my house. Don't judge me, it's dirty. Got lots going on, but that's all right. Here we go. So step one here, as you can see how these Tupperware containers laid out, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your brown sugar mixture, which I'm gonna show you guys how to make here in a second. I just had some pre-made because I didn't wanna put you through the process of making so much of it, you know? Got a lot of fish to smoke here. So first thing you do is just coat the bottom of your Tupperware container. And this is a dry brine, so you don't have to do any liquid to do this. That's the nice thing about it. So we're gonna take each one of these Tupperware containers, we're gonna get just a nice coating in the bottom of them. And just start laying it in, fin no. Don't, if you guys have dogs, do not let your dogs get raw salmon, it's not good for them. And I try not to stack it, but if you don't have enough room, you can, you can stack it. But typically I don't like to do that, I like to just lay it in there. So 
So this recipe is fairly simple. It is literally two cups of brown sugar, one third cup salt, two tablespoons of pepper. Let's get to work. All right, everyone, so the next step is to start taking this brown sugar and covering your fish in it. You're just gonna literally cover this stuff. And you do wanna get it completely covered. This is what's gonna sweeten, cure, and make your fish how you want it. There it is, folks. She's a brining. We're gonna leave it in the fridge for about eight to 10 hours, then we're gonna pull it out. We'll show you what's up next. All right, everyone, the curing process is complete. Here we go. Look at these things. Mmm, 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 tasty. We're gonna open them up here and show you what it all looks like, but you can see all the brown sugar and everything is gone, kind of soaked into the fish. And all you got left, some liquid and some fish. Let's show you what happens next. All you got left is kind of just some candy, sugary looking stuff here. And what you're gonna do next is you're gonna rinse this. You're gonna completely rinse these, and you're gonna set them out to dry. After you get to the part where you've rinsed it, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna set it out on a rack to dry. And I actually use my Green Mountain Grill to smoke my fish. So I'm just gonna set these directly on the Green Mountain Grill rack. And I'm gonna try to put them, I don't wanna put them too tight, but I'm gonna try to put them somewhat tight so I can fit as much on here as possible. All right, everyone, so once we get to this point, as you can see, I got it laid out on the racks here. We are gonna let this air dry. We're gonna let this sit for about an hour. You can do this longer. A lot of guys have preference. About an hour is what I typically do. It. I'll pat them dry here right before we let them sit, and then we're gonna let them air dry for about an hour, and then we're gonna throw them in the smoker. So we let this air dry for about an hour. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the racks just as they sit, and we're gonna throw them on the green mountain here. So I use my Green Mountain Grill. It's a great way to smoke fish, super easy. You can set the temperature, leave, you can literally leave for three hours and just let the thing sit there and it'll do it. It'll smoke it perfectly. So I like using these. A lot of guys will use like the cold smokers or there's a million different ways to do it, but this is a super easy way to do it. So let's grab the other rack. And then typically what you have to do with these is you set them so you kick your temperature up and what it's gonna do is it's gonna preset to 150 degrees. I'm gonna smoke my fish at 175 degrees at three hours. So that's what I'm gonna do this as, and it usually comes out pretty damn dialed at that temperature on this Green Mountain. But again, don't take that to heart because every smoker is gonna be different. So make sure you do your research and figure out what your temperature needs to be. But let's get this thing going. So like I said, you wanna get this thing up to 175 and then smoke it at a three hour time frame. But if you do this, like what I'm doing right here, and you kind of let it go through its motion, what's gonna happen is it's gonna accumulate a ton of smoke. And it'll kind of just get that little pre-flavor up in the fish before it really starts to cook it and smoke it the rest of the way. But as you guys can see, this thing's really starting to pour out the smoke. Ooh, too much, too much, too much, too much. 175. We're gonna let that get up to 175. Then we're gonna set our timer for three hours. And then the old Daniel Boone is gonna get to work. Okay, everyone, now's the time. The fish has done its three hours. It's sat for a little bit. It's the big reveal. Summer Chinooky, Summer Chinooky, about to be tasty in my mouth. All right, let's try this stuff and see how it is. Here we are. Mmm, she smells good. This little tail piece here. It's gonna break off a little piece. Mmm. So freaking ridiculously good. Look at that. 
It's not too dry. It's got the perfect little sweet and salt to it. Oh yeah. It's all nice and moist on the inside. Fully cooked. A little crispy shell on the outside. Tasty. All right, everyone, so there you have it. I hope you guys liked that little hybrid episode. It was an awesome, awesome day out there, Summer Chinook fishing with Ryan from Riverside Guide Service. Again, I got his link down below, so make sure you guys check him out. And let us know if you guys wanna see more of these, like where we actually go out in the morning, we catch fish, just a quick highlight reel, and then we show you a little bit of the cooking portion of it. I know there's a lot of YouTubers that do it, and I know a lot of you guys are fans of that. So if you wanna see more of that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And do not forget, if you're new to the channel, tap subscribe. We got lots more cool stuff coming. Thanks again to all you subscribers out there. We'll see you on the river. All right, everyone out there, thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. If you guys wanna watch more of our content, click this video right here. And if you're brand new to the channel, do not forget, tap that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification. And to all of our subscribers out there, we appreciate every single one of you. If you guys wanna be on comment of the day, just make sure you guys are dropping comments, interacting on the videos. Here's today's comment of the day. Thanks again for watching. Hit that thumbs up. We'll see you on the river.